For Park Hills, Sean Hosford, he spent his career pushing himself. After winning individual state titles his freshman and sophomore seasons, Hosford kept pressing, wanting to be a four-time state champion. But then adversity struck his junior year. As Sean was wrestling in early December, he broke his left tibia, putting a new challenge in the way of his goal. Right when it happened, I heard a loud pop, and the dude got off right away. I, I was hoping for a high ankle sprain when it happened. I saw him roll over it, and of course, Sean being the way that he is, as soon as I walk out there, the first thing he says is he's sorry. He told me to stop talking because that's the only thing I kept saying was I'm sorry, I'm sorry. While they were x-raying, they said it was broken. We, we just, all we could hope for is that he could make it back by the end of the season. After spending two months in a cast, Sean came back, qualifying for state at 160 pounds, two classes higher than his normal weight, but his dream was still alive. However, this time the climb to the top was too steep as Sean fell in the opening round. We are walking back in the tunnel, I just break down mentally because I'm like, there goes my four time, there goes my high school goal, I'm done completely. Realistically, when you bump up two weight classes and you come back after not training all year, you're, the odds of making that happen are going to be very slim. So, I mean, there, we, we dealt with a lot of uh, frustration issues. A lot of people would say, were saying I had like a lot of guts to do that and stuff, but in my head it didn't matter at that time because I lost my only goal. Coach Tuck like really helped me. He's like, you're still part of this team. You still need to score some points. You still got a match tonight. Let's get your head back in it. And so like, at that point, I was like, okay, my goal is to score team points now. That had absolutely nothing to do with Sean Hosford, the individual that was Sean Hosford Park Hill Wrestling. He came back, provided a great spark for the team. Sean found a new role. With his best friend, Canton Marriott, going for his first state title, Hosford let all the emotion out. I couldn't tell you what happened in that match because my, I, was, I was down in the tunnel, I was screaming, I was moving, I was yelling. I was, I got, I've never been that hyped or nervous. It was like, it was so worth it. Like just being there, being part of the team and then my best friend winning. Park Hill took home their third team title in a row, marking the most successful run in program history. And Sean Hosford was in the middle of it. My junior year mean, actually meant the most. I mean, yeah, at the time it sucked, but like looking back at it, wow, I am really surrounded by a great team and this team is just amazing. They're there to support me and I'm there to support them. Despite a shoulder injury last summer, Sean readies to push himself one more time as Hosford attempts to go after his third individual title. His sights have been refocused on becoming a four-time team champion, and that would be just as good. At Park Hill, Kyle Haas for High School Roundup.